Understanding the Aerospace Engineering Degree Audit, Year One. In the first year, engineering students take mostly the same courses, no matter the intended major. There may be a few major specific courses, depending on the intended program, but the focus is on successful completion of the courses required for CODA. E101, listed in the first semester, is actually now a second semester course. Students who enter the College of Engineering from other colleges at NCSU or external transfer often have a first year course or extra engineering or science course that can be used as a substitute for E101. A list of common substitutions can be found on the MAE common substitutions list. Incoming first year students are normally placed in either English 101 or an economics course in the first semester and instructed to take the other course, English 101 or economics in the second semester. It is important to keep in mind that English 101 is required for CODA, but economics is not. For the economics requirement, you can choose from one of three courses EC201, EC205, or ARE201. Only one of these courses can be used to satisfy degree requirements. CSC113 MATLAB is the computer programming course of choice for MAE students. There are approved substitute programming courses, particularly for students who entered the college as an external transfer student. However, students who have a substitute course in a different programming language will likely need to learn MATLAB on their own. Aerospace intended engineering students are strongly encouraged not to delay taking the programming language course beyond the first year. E102 is a COE specific GEP interdisciplinary perspectives course it is now a first semester course. Students who enter the College of Engineering after the first year will take a substitute course in place of E102. The substitute course can be from any of the university approved GEP interdisciplinary perspectives lists. What should you be thinking about in your first year? CODA required courses. A C or better is required in Chemistry 1 and the lab. Calculus 1 and 2 also require a C or better, as does the first physics course and lab. A pass or S in E115 and a C minus or better in English 101 and E101 are also requirements for engineering CODA. Which courses in the first year can be shifted to other semesters? Economics can be shifted to any semester. GC120, a computer-aided drafting course, can also be shifted to any semester, but it is recommended to take it before applying to internships or co-ops. The E102 substitute course, if applicable, can also be shifted to any semester. Understanding the Aerospace Engineering Degree Audit, Year 2. Most students have coded into their desired engineering major by the second year. In the Aerospace Engineering curriculum, non-AE specific MAE courses, such as MAE 206, MAE 208, and MAE 214, are open to students pre-CODA. AE-specific courses are reserved for post-CODA students, no exceptions. It is important to note that AE-specific courses are offered only once a year. You should plan carefully and pay close attention to prerequisites. In this presentation, all once a year AE-specific courses will be denoted with an AE superscript. MAE 206, Engineering Statics, is one of the first engineering courses you take as an MAE student. 
Although there are a few approved engineering static substitutions, MAE-206 is highly preferred. MAE-250 and MAE-251, your first aerospace engineering courses, are intended to be taken as co-requisites. MAE-251 is the more critical of the two, being a prerequisite for future AE-specific courses. MAE-250 is not a prerequisite and can technically be delayed, although it is best to take it alongside MAE-251. If you are considering participation in the co-op program or a semester study abroad program, this is the year to begin making plans. Co-ops can be worked into the AE plan as long as the co-op begins no later than the third year. A study abroad is best done while you are taking earlier, more general courses. What should you be thinking about in your second year? Be aware of the seawall courses. At this level, seawall means C minus or better. Seawall courses for AE are MAE 201, which appears in your third year, MAE 206, MAE 208, MAE 214, and MAE 251. Again, it is important to remember that AE specific courses are offered only once per year. Which courses from the second year can be shifted? Physics 208 and 209 can be delayed to the second semester of the sophomore year, or even as late as the summer before the third year, before MAE 201. MAE 208 or MAE 214 can be shifted to the summer before the third year if desired. However, it is not recommended to take multiple rigorous courses in a short summer term. Understanding the Aerospace Engineering Degree Audit, Year 3. The third year is when AE students delve deeper into aerospace engineering subjects. Most of the courses this year are offered only once a year. Note the flight space elective in the second semester. There are actually two of these, one in the third year and one in the fourth year. Two courses fall into this elective group, MAE 457 and MAE 467, and you are required to take both. The intent is for the third year selection to be based on your anticipated senior design choice, MAE 457 for flight, MAE 467 for space. However, the choice you make does not lock you into a specific senior design option. The third year AE guided technical elective is the structures elective. Choose from MAE 430 offered in fall and spring or MAE 472 offered in spring only. What should you be thinking about in your third year? Plan carefully to make sure prerequisites are complete for the fourth year senior design. AE senior design prerequisites are MAE 252, MAE 371, and one of the space flight electives, MAE 457 or MAE 467. What happens if you miss or fail a critical path AE specific course? There are mechanical engineering substitute courses for a few third year AE courses. Consult with your academic advisor if you are in this situation. Which third year courses can be shifted? English 331 can be shifted to any semester once you are classified as a junior by credit hours. The math elective can be taken any time once prerequisites are met. Understanding the Aerospace Engineering Degree Audit, Year 4. The fourth year revolves heavily around senior design. AE Senior Design is a two-semester fall-spring sequence. MAE 480 in the fall, 
and MAE 481 in the spring. Prerequisites for AE Senior Design are MAE 252, MAE 371, and one flight space elective, either MAE 457 or MAE 467. The enrollment process for MAE 480 is unique. Third year students in the second semester are prompted to fill out a form when they add MAE 480 to the MyPAC Enrollment Wizard shopping cart. Pay close attention to the course note that pops up. You will declare your preferred senior design option through the form. Enrollment in MAE 480 will actually not occur until summer before the fourth year, after senior design assignments have been made by the course coordinator. You should keep your desired senior design section and paired lab in the enrollment wizard shopping cart so you can plan your other courses around the time. The fourth year AE guided technical elective is the propulsion elective. Choose from MAE 458 or MAE 459. For the fourth year flight space elective, you will choose the course you did not take in the third year, either MAE 457 or MAE 467. Note the ethics elective in the second semester. The MIPAC degree audit and planner currently show a limited list for this category. There are several courses approved for MAE ethics that are not shown. IDS 201, PHI 227, PHI 325, and for ROTC students, NS 420 and MS 402. If you select one of these courses, you will need to ask your academic advisor to move the course to the ethics spot in your degree audit once the course has been successfully completed. All of the ethics selective courses can double count with at least one other GEP category. View the Understanding GEP Categories video for a more in-depth explanation. There are also two technical electives in the fourth year. You may choose any courses from the list of MAE approved technical electives. What should you be thinking about in the fourth year? It is important to remember that AE Senior Design is a two semester fall spring sequence. You cannot take a skip semester this year, so be sure not to plan a co-op or study abroad, except for the Namibia WAO program. See the study abroad website for more information. Double check to make sure you have planned all the necessary prerequisites to be completed before the fourth year. Make sure to familiarize yourself with all of the technical elective choices. Refer to the list on the MAE technical elective website. Options include one non-MAE engineering technical elective, undergraduate research, graduate level MAE courses for those who qualify, and mechanical engineering technical electives. Which courses in the fourth year can be shifted? MAE 435 can be taken any time after MAE 361. MAE 405 can be taken with or after MAE 435. The ethics elective can be shifted to any semester. Technical electives can be taken any time once prerequisites are met. Understanding the Aerospace Engineering Degree Audit, GEPs. All NC State students are required to take a certain number of GEP courses that fall into various specific categories. The GEP categories and credit requirements are listed at the bottom of the degree audit. You should spread your GEPs throughout your semesters wherever they seem to fit best. Summer is also a great time to get GEP courses out of the way. In this presentation, I will mention only a few key points regarding GEPs. Be sure to view the Understanding GEP Categories video for an in-depth explanation. 
The humanities category requires you to take two three credit courses from different disciplines. Each course selected from this category must have a different prefix. For example, history, English, religion, etc. Physical education or HES courses are the only courses besides E115 that can satisfy degree requirements when taken for credit only. Note the verify requirements at the bottom of the GEP lists. Ethics is also a verify requirement. This means a course from another credit bearing GEP category can also fulfill this requirement. Refer to the Understanding GEP Categories video for a more detailed explanation of verify requirements. The foreign language requirement is usually met through high school credit or completion of an associate's degree from the NC Community College system. All GEPs other than HES must be completed for a letter grade to satisfy degree requirements. <laughs> 